Good afternoon, boys and girls. You are here to see the new bees on the map. Yeah! All right, let's welcome our three stars. Our first one up is Bee Sum, who is one part of the band. Yay! Next up is Bee Moore. He is the other part of the band. Yay! Last but not least is Be All. He is the lead singer and the best dancer. He Yay! represents both parts of the band. Yay! Okay, and our bees are gonna do a problem about their dance moves to help us learn how to do tape diagrams. So, in our problem, in our problem, B Sum busted nine dance moves and B more spun seven dance moves. Have B all show you how many dance moves the new B's did. So we are gonna draw a tape diagram to help us figure out what to do, what equation to write. When I draw a tape diagram, I make a rectangle, I cut it in half, and then I mark off the other half. I'm gonna label the top with a W for the whole, and I'm gonna label the bottom two as P and P for parts. And what I know is that B Sum is one part with his nine dance moves. B More is the other part with his seven dance moves. And B All says how many all together? I don't know, so I'm going to put my question mark as the whole. And we are going to allow some of our super fans to show you the right way to solve this equation. So we have the new bees set up to represent our math problem. B sum is a part as nine and B more is a part as seven. So we have some first graders to show us how they're gonna solve this equation. Lena, can you show me what you wanna do with B sum? So Lena sets B sum down at zero. And she moved B sum forward nine. So we would expect B sum to end at nine. Great job. Nora is going to set up B more since B sum was just a part. B more is the rest. So we are going to set B more on nine and he is going to move forward seven spaces. So what we are hoping to show is that nine plus seven, I'm sorry, nine plus seven will equal? Well, we're gonna let B Moore show us. All right, B Moore lands on 16. So when my parts are nine and seven, they can add together to be 16. Boys, come on up and prove using B all that nine and seven make 16. So grab B all. Set them down, I'm sorry, uh, press forward nine times. Go, nope, in your hand. Press it forward nine times in your hand. Please pass them to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, press forward seven times in your hand. Jeremiah, set them down at zero. Press go. Hopefully what B all will prove is that nine and seven will always make 16. What's gonna happen next is our first graders are gonna show us all the ways they know how to solve nine plus seven. They can count on, you can make 10, you can count all by making a drawing. We'll see what strategies they picked. Well, 
I did nine circles and then I added an X to make ten and then I did six more. So it would equal sixteen. Broke apart the seven. I split it through one and six to make the nine go to ten. So I did nine plus one equals ten. Then ten plus six equals sixteen. Well, I broke apart seven into six and one, and I put nine plus one equals ten, and ten plus six equals sixteen.